Hello, this is vlog number six, and today we'll be focusing on uh, chapter five of the book and various concepts introducing light. So, disclaimer, this vlog might be a little unusual. I'm doing it from home, not doing it at school, as we are dealing with a uh, tough situation with the coronavirus. Um, despite our quarantine circumstances, we will fight this off. We will persevere. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well during this, uh, this, uh, trying time, but we got to make sure that we're always pushing through no matter what. So when we focus on light and the importance of light, especially applied to re reproducing an image, we want to make sure we have the right, um, visualization. So visual media starts with light energy, uh, in our eyes and our eyes give us the ability to see things because of electromagnetic mag energy, um, which is visible light, reflects off physical objects and into the cornea. It mostly involves reflection of light. Seeing light, seeing things, anything that we see involves a reflection, uh, just the same as it exists within the camera lens. Um, when focused on the retina, um, the light, it converts the light energy um, as electrical impulses and the brain will essentially read it as visual information in order to reproduce an image as given to the eyes. Um, so another concept is uh, the variations in light that include exposure and contrast. So another concept, uh, some Basic variations in light include exposure and contrast. Um, and in exposure, there's uh, a controlled amount of light or a specific amount of light um, required to reproduce an image. But that amount of light refers to the exposure. It is a specific amount of light. Um, contrast is a comparison between the brightest and the darkest elements in the frame which is measured dependent upon a gray scale. So it goes from brightest to darkest, depending on uh, what the image looks like. So another concept, quality in terms of light is actually measured by the quantity. Um, hardness and softness of light determines the quality of the image. Um, and quality has more to do with the aesthetic of an image uh, depending on the look and mood of the image. So when we are referring to in terms of quantity, uh, we wanna make sure that the perfect amount of light uh, is being uh, very carefully measured um, to determine its quality. So we gotta put that into play as well. Another concept I wanna talk about is uh, in terms of direction at least, light is important, um, it's, it's crucial. The formula uh, for lighting is an approach called the three-point lighting. Now, in three-point lighting, it is made up of a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. Um, now, the use of these lights, we want to make sure that all parts of the image are perfectly recognized, they're perfectly uh, shown within the image, um, and that the perfect amount of light almost looks natural. Like, even with uh, natural daylight or applied light, uh, additional light, we want to make sure that we get the most natural look as possible within the image. Um, so made up of these uh, different kind, kinds of lights, it helps build the perfect amount of light in a scene or an image. The background and foreground are both illuminated the same way to make it look aesthetically pleasing or almost natural. So one more important concept to address is the util utilization of different lights, uh, or at least different sources. Now this can include daylight, artificial light, basically any light already present in the scene, uh, or added light, which are typically spotlights or equipment used in a studio setting. Um, if you're filming anyone, you know, you wanna have spotlights or any additional light that makes the scene even brighter, more clear, um, more concise, and you want to see uh, the perfect picture almost. So if existing light is not useful enough for reproducing an image, 
the resources and the additional lights um, are definitely helpful in making that um, that not so natural image come true to look like the most natural image ever. So once we got to know a lot of the key concepts of light and uh, some of the things applied uh, to reproducing an image with the perfect amount of light, um, I want to introduce a, uh, a movie, in my opinion, that um, represents the perfect amount of light, or at least a lot of light used uh, in every scene. Um, so the movie I'm referring to here is First Man. So as an example, I want to use the movie First Man, uh, because we see in this movie, for those of you who have, who have not seen it, it is a perfect demonstration of um, representation of light and visual appeal, specifically in the last scene when they are finally landing on the moon. It represents a historical as well as a visual appeal uh, to the whole story when you realize uh, the relationship he has with his family as well as, uh, as some of his friends, we see that this is a very emotional moment for him, for Neil Armstrong. And we wanna emphasize that by adding the perfect amount of light to represent the impact or the gravity of that scene, no pun intended. So when we see what is actually being represented here and what is actually at stake, his life, his relationships, um, as well as his impact on America. Uh, as being the first country to land on the moon, we obviously made a lot of historical uh, impacts as well as emotional. And adding this light at the very end of the, the scene, the very end of the movie, from multiple angles, of course, we were able to actually catch that, that scene, that that emotional appeal, that visual appeal as well. So this movie in particular, I'm particularly fond of, and I hope anyone else gets to, gets a chance to watch the movie very soon. Well, that's the end of vlog number six for today. Um, referring to what we just talked about, I think it's important. Um, implementing the perfect amount of light uh, only gives more for visual appeal. Um, in creating and reproducing that perfect image. Now, if you have all seen or have not seen the movie First Man, it came out in 2018. It's a very good movie. It's uh, very visually appealing uh, as well as emotionally appealing. So if you have the chance, definitely watch it, stream it from Amazon, wherever. Um, but during this time, uh, I want to address it's very crucial that we all stay healthy and uh, stay inside as well as keep washing your hands and if you go to the grocery store keep washing your hands keep very sanitary um, make sure you stay healthy out there because it's crazy out there today so yeah have a good day